on a sunny autumn morning of 2021, we go to one of Baghdad's bus stations and caught a minivan headed to Mosul, capital city of Nina the Governorate in the north of Iraq. Having escaped the city's chaotic traffic, we reached the motorway and drove through the arid Mesopotamian plain. We are approaching a military checkpoint. We are sitting hidden in the back corner. The soldiers were to see our foreign faces, especially recording video. They were sure to detain and delay us. Luckily, we passed through all the many checkpoints without any problem and uh, approached the city quite. Uh, early in the afternoon and here is the last of the military checkpoints right outside of Mosul in the outskirts of the city which was also the first and only one we got spotted and stopped it took some time and some calls but we were eventually free to go and welcome to Mosul Eventually got dropped off at the city's rather desolate bus station, just a handful of people lying around who soon enough scattered. Our bus driver called a taxi for us and we are now driven to the east bank of the Tigris River where our hotel is. Here is the bridge driving across, not much traffic anywhere around the city. That's a good thing from our perspective driving around, but it means that it's not very populated either. And here is our neighborhood close to the Grand Mosque of Mosul an impressive uh, temple whose construction began in Saddam Hussein's time but was never completed to this day. Before checking in the hotel we decided to take advantage of the remaining sunlight and have a short introductory walk around the neighborhood. We went around the mosque until a soldier came and requested us to not take any more pictures of it. So we then headed through the neighborhood, made a small round and eventually went back to the hotel. We had a little rest and after sundown we went out in search of dinner. We found this rather lively street, relatively so for the standards of this city. We ended up having a nice pizza and a cup of tea and dessert and we soon went back to the hotel for a good night's sleep before tomorrow's exploration. We are walking along a tributary of the Tigris and watching a herd of buffaloes having a morning drink. And we are crossing to the west bank where the old city of Mosul lies. It seems rather destroyed from this side already. There are a few people walking and driving along. After we were briefly stopped by the army, we were led to enter the old town. <laughs> Please take the picture of the car.
All the people were of course very excited to see us and often express their lamentations about the city's tragic fate. You can see here the amount of devastation this city has suffered is uh, heartbreaking. Most of the city is being reduced to rubble. There is hardly any building left undamaged. Whereas some other ones, like this one, entire districts are in just uh, heaps of debris. I wouldn't want to be the one standing behind the wall. This is Al Nuri Mosque, probably the city's most historic building, which stood for eight centuries before Al Baghdadi ordered its destruction after having given there his final speech. Families must have once thrived here. Then we left the main roads and entered the city's mess of narrow back streets. They have quite an interesting sewage system, as you see. We walked around at random and hardly saw any people, only a minority of the buildings were still inhabited. <coughs> Most of them were abandoned. Here used to be this guy's house and now he's turned it into a little lawn. We talked hey. with him and he invited us to his friend's garden nearby. A really lovely place amid the devastation. <laughs> He's even got a makeshift greenhouse. Okay, okay, As soon as we left from there, we got invited by the neighbors next door in their house where a wedding was ongoing. Good fun. friends gave us an excursion to a nearby traditional house. This is for the pigeons, as you can probably tell. They are scared now, because many of us. 
We continued our walk through the neighborhood. You can see here efforts being undertaken by the locals to restore and how the dilapidated properties. Eventually our friends left us to mind their business and uh, we resumed our own exploration. See here, cars, buildings, everything is destroyed. Here used to stand one of Mosul's many churches. Now all of them are destroyed and the Christian population is displaced. One could have a quick shower here if it gets too hot. During our visit it was rather cool though. This is a nice elaborate door, one of a few you can see around. It seems like the locals prioritize the doors over everything else. Bullet marks, there was literally hardly any building around the city that didn't feature such. the next clip you are going to see a lone man bemoaning singing some kind of elegy. If you understand, please translate. يا بابا الله الدنيا طويلة وتشال وتشال يا حيف He stood there alone inside the racket building and seemed pretty distressed. I doubt whether he was even aware of our presence. Here we made it back to that arched bazaar beside the bridge we crossed earlier. This was by far the most uh, lively part of the old city. Uh, we interacted with the locals, had a cup of tea with a few of them who invited us. We loitered about a bit and we continued our walk north along the western bank of the Tigris. Here in the middle of this ravaged neighborhood we ran into a rather large accumulation of locals. They turned out to be a film crew from Kurdistan. They were uh, making a movie, a war movie of sorts up in uh, the top of uh, this building and they invited us to join them upstairs and have a little look. So, Bruin, show.
Kaka video nije, a tu Ana? Ma tu video! Šta? Back down, we kept uh, walking north through what I witnessed to be the most heavily damaged district of the city. The entire area was completely torn down, just hills of debris. Military gear, human possessions, toys and even human bones scattered all throughout. Soon we encountered an old man who was the best English speaker we ran to throughout the whole day and he offered to give us a little excursion around the district. In, in, in England there is people, some of them Catholic, and the, in Ireland, yeah. Protestant. Yeah. yeah. Here, same, same. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The government don't give this city what he want. Yes. Look, come here. Look to that hill. Yes. What there is in that hill? What in, what in, in that hill? Are you see the hill? Yeah, I can see the hill. Yeah? Looks bad. <laughs> Only hill? Just not, yeah. Mm. What's there? Here. Military? No. Here, that hill is the first empire in the world. Ashurian Empire. Mm -hmm. The palace of Sanhari, Sanhari is sleeping there. That, in, that, in the top of the hill, the palace of Sanhari. Okay. The empire of this em emperor of this empire. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So when the leader of that is coming here, my son is proud. No. Uh, when the, uh, the leader of that is coming here, you must tell the people in England yeah. no TV, no phone, no satellite, everything is shut down. Shut down. How? About 24 hours stay here. Come from the border of Syria, Iraq, Syria. How is coming here in safety? The way is safety and the flag is black flag. The helicopter, the air fighter. Look, all of them protect this man. You must remember. So whose who's secret agents are you saying dies were? All, all, all of them secret agents. But of whom? He of whom? Who paid when them? When the people, innocent people come here... The Iraqi government what? sent them? The uh, Iraqi government, Iraqi government makes severe decision here. Don't give the people here the freedom. No freedom in this area. When they are coming here, Yeah. It's very severe. Look, look, it's a room. Yeah. Come, come, follow me. Come, follow me. So how come this neighborhood here got so damaged? Look. Did the fighters use them? Did Which fighter? No fighter. 40,000 fighters running away across the bridge, 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 running away by interclass. By what? Without gun. Without gun. Without gun. Only with a shot, without gun. Yeah, running away. They ran Sherry away. Hand, not to Iran, going to Erbil and after Erbil going to Baghdad. 40,000 fighters. 
the Iraqi soldiers, you yeah, mean, Iraqi run away. Soldiers, yeah, yeah, yeah. When Daesh is coming, it's 300 persons and more. How they are past the border without visa, without passport, how that is happening? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. If you look, if you're thinking, you will be astonished. Yeah. Come, come, look. Look. Yeah. Can you see the, um, the army gear? Yeah. The tube of water. Yeah, it's army. This is a pipe tube of a water. Pipe. Yeah, it's a tube. Look, look. So where this house is bombed by the air or how did they get destroyed? It's destroyed by bombing, a heavy severe bomb, but uh, the government in Baghdad, lazy government, brought heavy machine and removed the houses. The houses. Yeah. But were they were there are ISIS fighters inside the buildings fighting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were hiding here and fighting. The people, innocent people here. Yeah. Daesh give him to this area to kill him by aircraft. There is contact between air fighter and between the uh, this, the secret agent of Daesh. Yeah, give him the a place of people where those people in high number. The, the, in, in the uh, evil uh, in Paris. Yes, the other yeah. side. Yeah. Here, the minaret of this mosque, it's a big mosque, a crook mosque, uh, 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 minaret, a crook minaret. crook minaret. Until this moment, the designer cannot make like this minaret. Yeah. yeah. Eventually he went on his way and we resumed our own. He came up with some bizarre conspiracy theory claiming that the Iraqi government, the West, Iran and Israel had all masterminded the destruction of the city. Here is me climbing out of an explosion hole where I want to take a piece. The place is still full with mines and explosives, so it's not a good idea to walk off the main roads, but it was absolutely necessary. That was a patrolling soldier who just whistled at me. He wanted to warn me to not walk on the rubble, as well as request me to not take any pictures. Shortly after, we got stopped and briefly detained at another military checkpoint, but then we were let to go and made it to this bridge, the next bridge from the one we crossed in the morning where we intended to walk back to our side of the river. It was a very calm afternoon and the river looked so placid, beautiful views. The main bridge was broken at two different points, probably shelled, and they had installed uh, two makeshift portable military, probably bridges, which we, we had to utilize in order to cross. The drivers were very surprised to see any pedestrians, let alone foreigners just walking across. The reconstruction works were underway, however, one of the few places in the whole city we witnessed and such. made it to the other side, another wedding was taking place there in a venue of sorts and it was very loud. walked off the bridge along the ramp quite a long way staring at some nice views of uh, the great mosque in the distance where our hotel is it was right about time for sunset and the end of this day trip around Mosul 